Welcome to Broken Arrow Public School's STEM Lab program, where STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, means strategies that engage minds. Once a week, every kindergarten through fifth grade student and their teachers visit the STEM Lab for a one-hour STEM challenge. Our standards-based STEM challenges are designed to engage students in high-level, authentic problem-solving and to expose students to a wide variety of STEM career options. As you're probably aware, there's an all-hands-on-deck call from the White House down uh, to produce a robust STEM workforce. The job market today is changing. It's, uh, it's changing more to that engineering, uh, more toward that technology. And so I think you're going to see more and more of the STEM type of uh, programs going up across the country. During the challenge, students share their designs and results with their peers through presentation, graphing, and multimedia. Some favorite STEM challenges include robotics, zip lines, catapults, computer coding, bridges, snap circuits, and much, much more. In addition to their regular weekly challenge, students in grades three through five participate in project weeks. For our project weeks, we have done um, several different things. One of, the, one of the things that we worked on um, was at the time that I was teaching in my classroom about endangered species, um, we started working in STEM about um, what if there was an oil spill. And we had some um, tubs that there was some water in and we kind of mimicked an oil spill and figuring out how we would get that cleaned up and what kind of effect that it would have on uh, anything that was in that particular area where the oil was spilled and how it could spread and things like that. And so that gave us an opportunity to kind of talk about um, some of the other environmental issues that affect endangered animals, and the kids really got into that. During the project week, classes research, design and build parachutes, prosthetic hands, catapults, life jackets, rockets, habitats, and pipelines. Student engineering teams split themselves up into groups, assign group roles, and collaborate on planning, designing, budgeting, executing, improving and presenting their designs. Guest engineers often visit the STEM lab to mentor the students through a project. It was interesting to see them work through critical thinking problems and problem solving process to figure out how to get, in this case, the ball from one end to the other. It was interesting to watch them all interact, all the different processes that we go through every day as engineers trying to you know, think about the scope and how to land the funding, how to do the projects, how to get the materials, how to construct it, how to implement it, and then how to run it. They all had the same challenge to get through their state, let's call it, but they all seemed like they were attacking the problems and working together and trying to solve the issue. So I think it was a great learning tool. Critical thinking and problem solving is something that we look for when we hire engineers as well, so it's good to see that being taught. I have a lot of students that are considering a career in engineering because they're learning what it looks like to go in and have to use their problem solving abilities and critical thinking and they may not always get it right the first time but they can readjust and look at the big picture and go from there and they get excited about it because it's something that they have to work towards it's a goal and it's not just always the easiest and I feel like the things that you have to work the hardest for are the things that matter the most. Research shows that by fourth grade, one third of American students lose interest in science and math. And by eighth grade, that number jumps to 50%. That narrows the potential STEM pipeline by half before students reach high school. There's a great need in America for talented scientists and engineers. Research shows that early exposure to STEM education and activities positively impact student perceptions and dispositions towards STEM fields. Educators must establish a strong academic foundation for students in the STEM subjects starting in elementary school. At that age, kids aren't already hating math or science. In fact, they actually love them and something terrible happens along the way. And so uh, what we try to do is go all the way back to elementary, go back to kindergarten where they love it and just stoke the fire of that curiosity and that natural love for exploring and trying out and being curious and adventurous. You know, these kids that I have in third grade now have had STEM in first grade, they've had STEM in second grade, and now in third grade. 
So it is kind of, you know, it's, it's scaffolding. I mean, the things they've learned have built, and so they're more prepared for third grade science and third grade STEM, third grade math. Uh, when you look at that, you think, wow, they really do get it. I mean, it's, and it's, uh, it's very neat to watch that kind of uh, learning go on in the classroom because you know that uh, it's resonating. It's, it's something that's going to be part of their fabric, part of what they do. Um, because when you learn at that age, at that level, it goes with you forever. Something unique about the design of the STEM lab program in Broken Arrow Schools is the fact that the regular teacher stays during the STEM lab for both challenges and projects. I love co-teaching in the STEM classroom with the STEM teacher because I have a lot to learn. I feel like everyone, even it doesn't matter your age, you're always a lifelong learner. And I know all the personalities of my kids. And so I can kind of support that and encourage each student to kind of follow up with their learning style and apply that to STEM. My students are making me step my game up in my regular classroom because of going to STEM. They're more excited about it. They come back, they have more questions. STEM triggers ideas and questions for them that they want to learn more. That whole process has opened up things in my classroom to use, not just in the STEM lab. Anyone that really understands what STEM is about then truly knows that it is a, a style of teaching that's effective, it is cross-curricular, it hits so many objectives and skills with just one lesson. With the inclusion of science and engineering practices in the Oklahoma Academic and Next Generation Science Standards, teachers must use these practices to teach the science content. Through embedded professional development, Broken Arrow's STEM lab program allows teachers to experience STEM in action and return to their classrooms inspired to design their own STEM challenges. The STEM program is an example of as close to perfect teaching as you can get. It meets students' learning styles and needs and intelligences and I, by having the the classroom teacher in the class, STEM class when, it, when it's going on, they see how it should be, what it should be like in the classroom with not only STEM projects but with all kinds of subject areas. And so it's just, it's just been amazing and the teachers are starting to love it and they use it and you can go into different classrooms and see all kinds of things going on that are STEM related. I think the thing that warms my heart the most and that makes me believe in STEM even more is that I see children in there that are not successful in a regular classroom due to learning disabilities or some disability and in the STEM class they shine and they are um, they do as well as anyone else if not better and to see the success and to see the looks on their face is it's heartwarming it's amazing